Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Double D's Quickie Reviews for me and you. Got some spooge on my... There we go. Anyways, today is a good video. Special video. As you know, well, right now it's November, but I wanted to open up something nice. So today, we're going to open this. Now, I got this at big bad toy store the ultimate sale for only twenty two dollars holy moly matrimony but let's get it open and take a look at it not on the back of the box I don't know why they still have these plain brown boxes I haven't had this open yet so I haven't even looked at it myself boom I'm saving it for you fine people and what I do with my opener? Let's get them out of this plastic. Jeez. St. Michael Louise. There we go. As you know, I did one other video of this with the Cobra Commander, which I got on sale a while ago. And here it is. Look at this box. Isn't this beautiful? The box is plain simple. I love that Cobra Commander sign single. Now let's take a look together, shall we? Three, two, one, lift off. <laughs> there he is. The Cobra Bat. Cartoon version. It's Beautiful. It looks chunky as a monkey. Look at that. Just for comparison, hold on a minute, let me get up for a minute. Yeah, sorry about that. I'll put them next to my, oh, my really, really dusty. I really got to start dusting. My really dusty classified series bat. In fact, I'll keep him over here for a later comparison. I'm too excited. Oh, let's take a look at the box, of course. The back, which is definitely not going to be readable on this camera. Oh, look, there I am. Hey. Uh, file name classified. It's a bat. It has no file name. I think it's classified. It has nothing there. Bats are the perfect Cobra Trooper. They never question orders, complain about chow, shirk duty, or surrender. They require no leave time, sick pay, or benefits of any kind, and they are cheap and easy to replace. On the other hand, bats do not react very well to change in field conditions, nor do they discriminate between targets. They will shoot uh, anything that moves between targets. Oh, anything that moves, be it friend or foe. They also have an unfortunate tendency to burst into flames when hit from behind. Bats are dangerous to any everybody. They'll shoot bayonet and kick anything in sight. Cobra infantry don't like to be on the same battlefield with the bats. When a Cobra unit is losing a battle, they will dispense bats into the midst of the firefight in order to evacuate the area easily. Of course, down here they have some pictures of the various things. It's so shiny you can see me again. Hey. Okay, let's get it open now. That yeah, opened easy. I can just get it out of the. Come on, come on out. Oh, there's two layers here. Okay, this layer has guns, a backpack, two of its accessories, and whatever the heck that thing is. Of course, I'll just set that aside. I have no intention of taking those out. Now, he does come with <clears throat> spare hands. A broken off, looks like, robot hand that's got wires coming out of the top. And I'm guessing it's supposed to be electricity shooting out because it's got a busted head with the same thing coming out. And of course, another arm attachment, the flamethrower. 
but we're not here for that. We're here for this beauty. If we can just get them out. There we go. Set that aside for now. Ooh, he is definitely a big boy. I'm not much of a Ultimates fan, but oh, look at that head articulation. That's beautiful. And the arm comes up. Go down and around. You have upper arm turning. The arm, of course, bends at the elbow about that far. And the hand, the wrist turns and the hand jolts. Now the this part is actually a separate piece of plastic as is the leg piece which bends when you bend up the leg. Doesn't go back at all though. Knee bends that far. Of course the ankle. No other. Oh. Holy crap. He has a almost like a D-ring. Damn. Now he has no place on his back for his backpack so I don't know how that was supposed to attach. There's no hole. But he does have things up here. I'm guessing maybe it hooks on the shoulders. We'll find out later. Let's get him on this thing. Now. As you can see, the paint apps are beautiful. The Lexon in the chest, it doesn't even have one of those anymore. That's just some stuff inside painted with a piece of plastic over it. I wouldn't mind if it had been the old-fashioned thing, but, you know. Whatever makes him happy. Yes, I'm gonna guess there's some sort of holster on that side and a holster on this side. The paint is very clean. I like that. Oh yeah, he has upper. Did I show you that before? I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna put him right next to the classified series bat and see how he stacks up. Oh, he is. He is most definitely not as big as the classified bat. I thought maybe they were close, but nope. And he's much more, well, forget the fact that he's covered in dust. But he just, maybe it's the price point that makes it much cooler. I mean, I did pay about the same price, though. But this just looks sweet. Now, let's, I don't usually get out accessories much, but... I'm really curious as to how this backpack goes on. There we go. Yeah, look at that. The backpack has over the shoulder holders. That just sort of... It's supposed to snap into place. They do not want to. Damn it, his body is so slippery. There we go. Okay, they are not slipping into place like I thought they would. Hold on a minute. Just do a little bit more. They appear to have some sort of swivel joint in there. I'm going to have to bring it back here so I can see better. Got one in. And the other. There we go. Wasn't easy. But it went in. Heck, got him that far. Might as well put some more accessories on him. Uh-huh. Now, unfortunately, the Cobra Commander is down in the cave. So he won't be coming up anytime soon. can't really get to him. I'm going to take all the accessories out like I'm not going to take out the rifle. Now like the Cobra Commander, of course I'll leave the accessories actually in the box since I love these boxes and I save them. Let's get his handgun in his little pouch thing there. Very nice, very nice indeed. Could have used a bigger gun, but hey. This is one of those figures I wouldn't mind having multiples of. 
There we go. Oh, and of course the accessories can, they got little peg hooks in there so you can just, yeah, dang it. And then it comes off. Jesus, sweet sassy molassy. Went in. That one went in. Where's the, uh, there we go. Oops, dang it, I just lost a head. It's okay, I found it. And now it'll give us a chance to look at it. Look at that, yeah, it has to be, it's supposed to be like an electrical damage. Oh, look at that, damage on that side too. Pretty cool. Of course, I don't change out heads, but you know, those you do, it's good to know you got that option, eh? If I can get this dang thing to, there we go. Yeah, they do not like to go in. I'm going to have to go back here again and fix this. And with that, boom, we have the cartoon bat. And he looks sexy. Look at that. Paint apps are perfect. If you get one bat, I do recommend this. And if you hurry up, you might still be able to get it on sale. Though by the time I post this, I mean, look at how clean that Cobra app is on his shoulder. Of course, I have no idea when I'm going to post this video. So, sale's probably over. And again, you compare the two. Just something about this. I'm surprised they didn't give us a version of this with the clear, with the uh, silver face mask. There is a blue version that I would love to get to. But, yeah, that, we all know that's not going to happen. Anyways, what do you think? What other figures do you think Super 7 should make? I mean, we all know they should make a, uh, a Croc Master, but we all love Croc Master. But, you know, let me know what other type of trooper do you think they should make. Which one would actually make you pull the trigger on them? Well, I would never pull the trigger on the full price. I can't afford that, but well, something like this. I mean, the plastic does have a little bit of plasticitis there on the arm. See where it's got a little scrolly. But all in all, kick-ass figure. I want to thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, let me know what you think. And with that, double D... Out.